greetings and welcome to today's session uh, today we are going to look at uh, the best tips on how best we can burn our work on CD as we prepare to do uh, computer practicals both O level and A level we need to see how do you burn work on your CD so let's say you are a candidate you started by creating your folder with your personal number let's say 046 that is for O level or 546 for A level you open your folder you do all your work that you are supposed to do in that folder let's say I work out Microsoft Word I save it with my name and personal number I open and do the work I also do Excel I also do PowerPoint. I also save it as my name and personal number. Let's say I've also done database. I save it as my name and personal number. So once this is done, we are always advising you to pass highly this practical that at best you need to practice and avoid cyberphobia mm? you use the computer you are familiar with in doing the exam also <coughs> those schools where you find that you are not using laptops and laptops are brought only in the time of exams and you are not familiar with it you may not use it because it may delay you as you are moving the pointer on the touchpad etc but those who are familiar please go ahead and use them in your exams then even when you know the instructions prior to the exams it is better you read those instructions once and again then you need to time yourself when you are in that exam if you are doing uh, a level at least 35 minutes maximum each number mm? Then if you are in O level, you can time yourself to ensure that at least use 25 minutes on section A numbers. That is Word, 25 minutes. Excel, 25 minutes. That is for O level. Then when you go to section B, use at least 40 minutes on each number. Mm. So time yourself. Time yourself. Then more to that, you need to take some time and read through each question from the entire question paper. You can start with those questions where you have more marks. Then ensure you don't save shortcuts on your folders and CDs. Also, ensure before you print the work fits on paper and not overflowing. You need to try to understand the requirements of the questions. You only impress the examiner by showing the skills that have been asked so these are the general tips on how you can handle your practicals so now let's see how do we burn this work that we have done on our cd so when burning work on the cd uh, it is always advisable that you use a cd recordable because that's why at times you never recommend use a cd recordable because when burning work with a CD recordable it is faster it is faster wi while burning work there and even uh, access time mm, when you are accessing work on a CD is faster than someone who has used a, C a DVD so uh, CD recordables most of them come packed as 50-50 in a pack so this is how they look like then if you intend to use a CD rewritable, these ones, they also look like that. Then if you intend to use DVD, ARA, this is how they look like. So at the end of it all, whichever CD you have used, make sure you label your CD very well, get a, a marker, write your name and personal number on that CD. Once you're done burning and printing, it's better you get a a sleeve or a jacket 
put your CD inside so that you staple the printed work with your CD and it should be ready to submit that work. So let's now go through the process of burning the work on the CD. So as you intend to burn, one method, when you put your CD into the writer, it can be an external CD writer or uh, the computer uh, writer. After putting in your CD, it should be able to read like this. Uh, DVD, R drive G, select the option. I can click here to continue. So when I click there, it says choose how do you want to deal with the blank CDs? Burn an audio CD, burn files to the disk, take no action. So if I want to burn, I click burn files to disk. Then this option appears. Disk title, I can write my name. At least if your name is longer, write one name and your personal number, Bernard046. Then from there, I use this option. Don't use the first option as it takes longer in making it available for someone to put work there. Because when you say like a USB flash drive, this means that with this option, you are able to use a CDR as a rewritable. You can put work, you can delete that work and put again. But this process takes longer on some computers to make that CD ready for that action and at times some cds may get spoiled in that process so for a candidate who is creating work to submit to your name please choose this second option with a cd or dvd player burn files in groups and individuals files can't be edited or removed after burning the disk will also work on most computers mastered this is the best option that we recommend. So when you click there, choose next. So at uh, this point here, you can copy and paste your work or drag and drop. So here is my folder where all my work is. You can first open and ensure that the work is there. So I can close. One method is to drag and drop. You can drag and drop. So the work is here. File is ready to be written on the disk. I've dragged and dropped. I can first delete. I can right click this file. I copy. I right click and copy. I come here in my drive. I right click and paste. The work is ready to be written. We have seen that please don't paste shortcuts. I've deleted. Someone can might copy. After copying, you come. Instead of using this paste option because you are rushing, you find yourself clicking on paste shortcut. And you find that you have pasted a shortcut. Please be more observant that you have not pasted a shortcut. Because when you paste a shortcut, this work is not going to open once the CD is transferred from one computer to another because the root, the source of the work is not on that computer where you have transferred the work. So be more observant. You can delete and paste properly. So paste your work properly. As you paste, make sure you choose that option of paste clearly. Alternatively, we said you can drag and drop. Once your work is here, you can now right click and uh, you choose burn to disk. That was the one way how to access your CD. The other method is you go to this PC. When you reach this PC, you will find that your CD is there, CDR, and this is the capacity. You can open after opening. You can bring your work, drag and drop, or copy. You can copy this work. You right click and paste your work. So after pasting, the work is ready. You right click and choose burn to disk. 
so at this option disk title was this and then i click next so the work is being burnt onto the disk so the time taken here depends on the amount of work you are putting on the cd or the speed of your computer and at times your gadget can determine the speed but it should not even take more than a minute if it is just candidate work which is word excel the work is not heavy it doesn't take longer so once the creation is done your, s your cd should come out automatically if the option was chosen that close when uh, creation is done but when you see the creation is done here you click the option of finish so here we are done you have successfully burned work burned your files to the disk do you want to create another one if you want you can insert another cd into the drive you click yes you finish it will repeat the process if not don't tick that option click on finish so after your work is done get the cd from the drive put the work put the cd uh, write your name and personal number on the cd with a marker and then put that cd into the uh, the sleeve or into the jacket and submit with your printed hard copy so in case there are questions you can put them in the comment section for more assistance thank you for your time and thank you for following please share the video to your colleagues to get help in this job race.